It is very dark right now. The sun has almost completely set, but I logged into Facebook and I actually found a potential random buy for Magic Gathering cards. Now, I don't do a lot of Facebook Marketplace random buys. Usually I do them on eBay or I'll do it through Goodwill or a thrift store. But this seller, he had a fat pack box, a deck box with a bunch of sleeves. He said there's some lands in there, some silver cards, some rare. So he's sounding like he doesn't really know much about Magic. And with that small lot, there is a big probability that there isn't going to be anything there. However, I thought it would be interesting as an experiment to show the viewers, like you guys, whether or not it's actually worth it to go pick up these little small buys on Facebook Marketplace. He didn't show any of the actual cards, just the tops. He showed some dice too, and actually the dice, it looked like there's maybe about eight or nine D20s, and they will actually sell for around a dollar each on eBay, so you can actually sell those in lots, and those could potentially get all my money back. He said $15 for this lot and that's what we're intending to pay. I'm not gonna look at any of the cards when I get them. I'm gonna bring them back into the car. We're gonna go home. We're gonna take a look at all the cards that were in here. It sounded like there's a little over 30 cards or so. So very small lot, but maybe it's gonna be profitable. I don't know, $15, it's a little bit of a gamble, but not that expensive. Let's take a look. Matthew? Hey, yeah. How's it going? Not too bad. Take a look? Mean? Sure, I'll take a look quick. Okay. Not the nicest weather, thanks for yeah. driving. Yeah. yeah, no problem. But the dice are there, the sleeves, the cards that I mentioned, the silvers. I, I don't yeah. know what the, the cards are, yeah. too well. I got yeah. those along with some Pokemon cards from a friend to sell, so. Oh, no, no worries. Cool. All good? All right, thanks, man. Thank you so take much. Care. Take care. You, you too. Okay, here it is. The bundle box, the fat pack box here. Very nice. I don't know when this is... Oh, there you go. It says it right there. <laughs> of course, that's 2012. So, uh, not that many cards in here. Looks like there was a deck box and a bunch of dice. And we're going to go through it right now. Now, this was $15. And uh, I actually think that we made our money back on the dice, really. Well, $15.95 for this dice here. This is made by Chessex, I believe. Yeah, it's a pretty decent dice maker. And we actually have quite a few... Spin downs here and spin downs you can actually sell them on eBay They usually go for a little over a dollar each if you can sell them in lots if you sell them individually based on uh, Whichever set they are from they can actually sell for quite a pretty penny So we do have a lot of d20s here. I think they're around there's over 10 So 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 Okay, so there you go. Let's say if it was a dollar each for a spin down roughly we made our money back just on the dice alone. So yeah, that might be something you guys don't realize, but spin down dice actually do sell pretty well on eBay. So uh, Gate Crash, that's a good set here. Let's see, what's the oldest set? We have Ixalan, we got Aether Revolt, Rivals of Ixalan, we got another Amonkhet one here, another Ixalan one. That is pretty cool. Oh wow, look at this. There you go, it's pretty old. Magic 2012. Now that's a throwback. I guess this is the dice that came with this fat pack back in the day when they called them fat packs. Okay, and we have some other dice here. Six-sided dice. Not too bad. Put that aside as well. But what we really came for was this deck box. What's actually going to be inside here? Okay, so these deck boxes, they're not really worth much. These are the, the Ultra Pro ones. You can find them at dollar stores. Uh, so we got some interesting sleeves here. I don't think there's 60, so it won't be enough for a deck. Um, oh, there's one more here. Oof, that's bent. Bent out of shape. All right, wow. Okay, so we got an incendiary flow. Uh, I think this is one of the F&M promos. It's from 2017, so definitely a throwback there. I think this is from Eldritch Moon, originally this card. And then we get a Profane Procession from Rivals Ixalan. Don't think that's over a dollar. We got another rare here, Paladin of Atonement from Rivals of Ixalan as well, a Vampire Knight. And we get a Baffling End, Rivals of Ixalan as well. Sky Terror, Forerunner of the Empire, Pillar of Origins. That's actually a decent uncommon. Charging uh, Monstrosaur. If you see anything over a dollar, uh, it'll be on screen. I don't think that there is so far. We got a Cherished Hatchling, Overgrown Armasaur, Overgrown Armasaur again, Fine Verdict. Okay, so we got a full art land here from Battle of Zendikar Forest. 
You get a Pounce Brazen Freebooter, two of those, Frilled Death Spitter, another Plains Air Full Art card. Then we get a Forest, uh, another Forest, a Nest Robber. We got a Mountain there, Talonali's Crown, Plains Crash the Ramparts, Plains as well, Forest Mountain. So we got a lot of Full Arts, yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, too bad they're probably only work, worth like 20 cents each. Aggressive Urge, another Mountain, Prying Blade, Forest Swamp, Forest Mountain. Looks like I've got some tokens here, Treasure Tokens, uh, Sapperling Token, Soldier Token from Dominaria. Now there's two Sapperlings from Dominaria as well. We got some more tokens here. Zombie Knight, that's actually kind of cool. Still don't think it's over a dollar though. Dinosaur Token, Merfolk Token, another Dino. Two saplings, a treasure token. Okay. And then we get a last little bit of cards here. A Raptor Companion. Another Plains, full art. Another Plains, full art. Another Forest, full art. And a Swampy to end things off here. So all in all, I don't know. What do you guys think? This looks uh, like, well, if this was a deck, they were using a lot of colors in their deck. It's uh, not quite, it's a four color deck using Swamps. Forest, plains, mountains as well. Yeah, you know, I don't know if this was a deck. If it was a deck, where's... They have swamps in here, but I didn't... Unless I'm missing something. Did you guys see anything black in here? I didn't see anything black. So maybe it was a deck and, like, the most expensive cards from it were black. You know, um, they have P Pitiless Plunderer from uh, Rivals of Xlon, I believe, is a pretty expensive uncommon. Maybe that was actually in there and they got rid of that they saw it was worth a decent amount i don't know but yeah i mean even though it was 15 dollars, i think they were just kind of discounting that these might have been worth some money which you can get your money back on that dice but based on cards though no there was nothing here that was worth over a dollar in cards so i don't know let me know in the comment section do you think that this was an interesting buy do you think i you know made my money back i think i did just based on these dice or do you think that these little Facebook Marketplace buys are just really kind of scams? Let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.